Towards the end of the 1980s, attitudes to the Amazon began to change. The military government gave way to an elected one, which was more sympathetic to Indians and environmentalists. In the Brazil of today, tribal rights are written down in the constitution. Large areas of rainforest are protected by law. And the politician looking after these areas was once a foot soldier in the environmental movement. I believe the Amazon is one of the most beautiful and blessed areas of the planet. It's a place where new life is created every fraction of a second. Though 32% of the rainforest is now under government protection, the story does not end here. A fight continues to rage between environmentalists and those who want to develop the vast area that remains unprotected. On the front line of development are farmers eager to make a living from the land that surrounds them. There is a large species of wildlife in the Amazon, it's true, but it's a problem if you forget about the 22 million people who live here. You see Brazil listening to the opinion of people from other countries, like Britain, like Greenpeace activists, who are now interfering in how we run the country. Pio Stefanello is one of a new breed of settlers shaping the Amazon. People that environmentalists in the 1970s never predicted. Agricultural businessmen. Back then, it was argued that forests could not be turned into farmland, as the trees hold all the nutrients, and removing them would make the land infertile. Some ecologists say the end result of the deforestation will be desert. Many conservationists claim that at the current rate, two-thirds of this vast area may disappear by the end of the century. So where is the desert? Pio Stefanello's farm was cleared many decades ago, and so here, if anywhere, should be a wasteland. Where we are now in the Amazon, the soil is very good to be sure. It's better than Europe's. Europe can produce one crop a year, and here, over the last eight years, we had 16 crops. This is fantastic. What the environmentalists didn't reckon on was fertilizers. Ever-increasing amounts of chemicals are being sprayed over the Amazon, ensuring year-on-year -year productivity. For farmers like Pio, it's worth the investment, as the Amazon has two great advantages. There's high rainfall, and year-round sunshine. It's ironic that the things that make the rainforest so rich in life are accelerating its destruction. <laughs> <laughs> 